Hey everyone, Jeremy here, and somebody get Jason Momoa on the horn and we need to strike while the iron's hot. What's got me full of such conviction and fire? Well, tune in to find out. So everyone, this one's been on my mind for a while. Because, yes, I am a fan of Jason Momoa, and plus, this is another DC video. But, the reason I say strike while the iron is hot is because the timing is perfect, and I just want to see him as Lobo. Was this video clickbait? I guess I don't know whether it is or not. Well, I guess we'll find out. So, uh, let me get to my argument first. Okay, so... If you don't understand who Lobo is, Lobo is an intergalactic bounty hunter who pretty much works for whoever will pay him. So he can be a bounty hunter, a mercenary, but he is one of the most interesting enemies to Superman that I've ever seen in the comics or in the animated series. So if you really want to see who Lobo is, check out uh, Superman the Animated Series uh, episode called The Main Man. You'll learn about Superman, Lobo, and a character called the Preserver, who's much like the Collector in the Marvel Universe. So I don't know which one came first. But okay, let me get to my thing here. First, I want you to look at this picture. Tell me you don't see the similarities. So, um, I haven't seen yet a good representation of Lobo in live action but the show superman and lois would be a great version of lobo if jason momoa played him it's like he was made for that role and yes i'm still referring to the lobo that's part of um superman the animated series justice league and justice league unlimited series so if you watch those animated series and find the episodes with lobo in them that version is kind of like an intergalactic hell's angels and Jason Momoa fits that to a T. Like I said, you saw the picture. So, um, the reason that this does not conflict with him being Aquaman is he's Aquaman in Zack Snyderverse. The Snyderverse. And Superman and Lois is in the Arrowverse. So there's plenty of opportunity for him to be in that series if that series is finished already then this can be like a special episode or a special um event with just it could be like a two or three episode event because i i have an idea that would give the writers for that show creative gold all you have to do is watch that episode of the main man on superman the animated series it talks about the Preserver and how he hires Lobo to go to Earth and get the last Kryptonian for his collection. I'm not going to spoil the rest of that for you, but I know what happens. And those who have seen the episode or read the comics definitely know what happens. The reason that this would not involve his sons is because he is the last surviving Kryptonian of his planet. So that makes him pure blood last kryptonian and the writers can write around that however they want but introducing jason momoa as lobo would just be phenomenal you might as well just print money because that episode would just be amazing or series of episodes as a special would be something just phenomenal and uh the reason that i think he would be a good the good lobo is of course you saw the picture what he looks like and when you see Aquaman fighting parademons in Zack Snyder's Justice League, you kind of see a little bit of Lobo-esque attitude there, which is perfect. And that's my argument. Here's my problem. Getting that information or getting to Jason Momoa or his agent about this or getting to uh, the writers or the showrunners of Superman and Lois if it's still going into season three. This is, this is a no-brainer and a win on all accounts. So if Jason Momoa gets his eyes on this video, hey man, 
uh, we're about the same age. You're only a few weeks older than me, but I know what you've accomplished in all of your career. I love all the stuff you've done. And this is like a dream role that I would love to see. So everybody else watching this video, um, leave in a comment down below and let me know, do you think I'm on the right track? Do you agree with me? Or do you disagree with me and think, whoa, this is a huge colossal waste of time? I don't believe so. And I don't think you believe that either. So there's my, uh, my another addition to my DC. And I got this one out of my headspace. So Jeremy's headspace, thank you for listening to that. And once again, it's time for the old mantra. It's okay to be weird. I am too. Embrace the strange, everybody, and have a great weekend. <laughs>